Climate change is the defining issue of our time, and we are at a defining moment. I have faith in what CSIT is doing, because you are invoking, in fact, a force, an army, that in fact will not surrender. And I'm talking about our children. The Carbon Zero Initiative of Trinidad and Tobago sees it as a non-profit organization dedicated to TNT becoming a carbon neutral country and a leader in sustainable practices. It is intended to, to bring out in the school the awareness about matters of climate change and the environment and lead to action. The CZ team paid a visit to the 16 finalist schools and invited 10,000 students to become ambassadors in the fight against climate change. Now it's on to the knockout stages. The competition is fierce. The teams are prepped and ready. Who will win the first prize of a study tour to Costa Rica? Here are the rules. Each match consists of three rounds. Each team member is asked one question per round. Every correct answer earns 10 points. If the answer is incorrect or time runs out, the opposing team has a chance to steal for 5 points. At the end of the second and third rounds, each team is asked a team question with 20 points. The winning team will move forward in the competition. Welcome back to quarterfinal round number two in this season National Secondary Schools Climate Quiz. On my right hand side is Bishop's Anesty and Trinity College Sixth Form combined. On my left, Ashton Guilds of Charlieville. And certainly we're up for a great competition. Let me jump across first to Alyssa. Alyssa, tell me a bit about yourself. Uh, what's your full name and what class do you belong to? My name is Alyssa Rene Phillips. I'm in L61. I do biochem and, fit and applied. Lovely man, a lovely combination indeed. Let's get to your question. Over the last 250 years, approximately how much of the warming of the planet was caused by the increase in carbon dioxide levels in the atmosphere? Is it A, 60%, B, 70%, C, 90% or D, 100%? B, 70%. That answer is right. Well done, well done. Good start to the competition indeed. Let me go across to Vishala. Vishala, what class do you belong to? I belong to Upper Six of Asher Girls College, Charlieville. Oh, you're one of the elders in this entire team, I see. Um, not really. All right, let's hope your experience in school would certainly add some victory. Where is the warming of the planet fastest? Is it the North Pole, the North and South Poles? Is it the Sahara Desert or is it the Caribbean? B, North and South Poles. That answer is absolutely right. Well done to Vishala and to Astra Gills of Charlieville. And of course, we go to Solange. Solange, let me hear something about yourself. What's your favorite sport? Um, I don't have a favorite sport. Well, okay, all right, fine. No, 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 no problem there. But what, what class do you belong to? Upper six, two. Mm -hmm. And your favorite subject? Environmental science. I would think so as well. Let's see if your environmental science studies will aid in you answering this particular question because it goes like this. Rapid urbanization is exerting pressure upon which of the following? Is it A, fashion trends? Is it B, housing and public health? Is it C, diet? Or is it D, technological advancement? B, housing and public health. That answer is absolutely right. Well done to you and to your school as well. We jump across to Natalia. Natalia, your question is as follows, and it goes like this. Human activity has increased the concentration of CO2 by how much since the Industrial Revolution? Is it A, 40%, B, 55%, C, 60%, or D, 85%? A, 40%. That answer is right. Well done to Natalia. And Ashley Gills, a big sigh of relief there. And let me jump right across to Kristen. Kristen, how are you today? I'm good. You're good? Yeah. yeah. How about your favorite subject? Um, pure maths. Pure maths. Wow, a mathematician amongst us. Let's see how it goes right about now. Prior to the Industrial Revolution, carbon dioxide concentration levels were 1 out of 3,600 molecules in the atmosphere. It is now 1 out of every 3,600 molecules. 2,400 molecules, 1,400 molecules, or 800 molecules? C, 1,400 molecules. That answer is incorrect. Unfortunately, we go across to Sophia. Sophia, your chance to answer. B, 2,400 molecules. That answer is absolutely right. Five points added to your tally. Well done to Ashton Gills of Charlieville. Let's see how your question goes. And it is as follows. 
What is the estimated surface temperature increase by 2100 if carbon emissions continue to grow at current rates? Is it A, between 2.5 to 6.8 degrees Celsius, between 2.5 to 7.8 degrees Celsius, between 2.7 to 8 degrees Celsius, or is it D, between 2.7 to 8.8 .8 degrees Celsius? D, between 2.7 and 8.8? That answer is uh, wrong, unfortunately. We jump back across to Kristen. You have a chance to seize this opportunity. A, between 2.5 to 6.8 degrees Celsius. That answer is also incorrect. The proper answer for that is B, between 2.5 to 7.8 degrees Celsius. Eli, my good friend, uh, I, I think you played football last time I spoke to you, right? Now, what, 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 what sport do you play? I don't play any sport. Unfortunately, you're, you're a bookman, full of academics, yes? <laughs> Lovely. Do you cook? Do you cook? What's your favorite dish? Um, I don't really have a favorite dish, but I can say I have somewhat of a uh, high-mounted skill in the kitchen. Lovely, my friend. <laughs> Love. Oh my goodness, we need to make a river line, buddy. Let's see. True or false, plastics can constitute an extremely large portion of the waste in landfills in Trinidad and Tobago. Is this true or false? This is true. That is absolutely right. Yes, the answer is true. Well done. Well done. We move across now to Astro Gills of Charlieville and uh, Rihanna is going to take the spotlight. In the last 30 years, Rihanna, approximately how much Arctic ice has melted due to global warming? Is it 10%? Is it 20%? Is it 30%? Or is the answer D, 40%? D, 40%. Well done. That answer is absolutely right. Well done indeed. Move across to Joshua, the tallest individual. And I think uh, LeBron James we spoke of last time, right? Yes, yes we did. This, I, uh, my memory is working well. Let me see if your memory is working well. What was the first environmental treaty dealing with a global threat from human activities? Is it A, the Montreal Protocol? Is it B, Paris Agreement? Is it C, the Stockholm Convention? Or D, the Basel Con Convention? A, the Montreal Protocol. That is absolutely right, brother. Well done to you and to your school as well. We jump across to Cheyenne. Cheyenne, your question. What group of countries can Trinidad and Tobago be classified into? Is it A, the Organization of Eastern Caribbean States? Is it B, Latin American countries? Is it C, more economically developed countries? Or is it D, small island developing states? D. That answer is right. Well done, Cheyenne. Well done to you and to Astrogills College. The competition is stiff. Both teams are battling and they're going head to head. On my right, we've got Trinity College East Sixth Form and of course, Bishop's Anesty. On my left, we've got Astrogills of Charlieville. Which team will win today? We just have to wait and see. At the end of round number one, we just look at the judges to make sure the tally is intact and we await the results. But just to tell you a bit about it, Seize It, the Seize It family, the acronym, what does it stand for? It simply stands for the Carbon Zero Initiative of Trinidad and the Tobago. I got the okay from the judges. Let's see how it looks right about now. At 40 points, Bishops, Anesty and Trinity Sixth Form, they're at 40, yes indeed. And Astergill's College of Charlieville, they're poised Five points ahead at 45. And we are back. Round number two commences right about now. Alyssa, this is your question. What are the three categories of climate change policies? Is it A, local, regional or international? Is it B, general, specific or extensive? Is it C, worldwide, regional or international? Is it D, national, regional or global? A, local, regional and international. That is absolutely right. Well done to you. Well done, Alyssa. Let's keep the competition rolling. And to you, Vishala, approximately what fraction of life on the planet is projected to become extinct if there are a two if there is a two degrees temperature rise globally? Is the answer A, one eighth, B, one quarter, C, one third, or D, one half? C, a third. That is correct. Well done. Yes, one third is the answer. We go to Solange. Solange, your question is as follows. What is the concentration of carbon dioxide in our atmosphere in parts per million? Is it 100? Is it 200? Is it 400? Or is it 500? C, 400. Well done. Well done. That answer is right. Well done to you, Solange, and to your team as well. Natalia, your question 
is as follows. In what year was the United Nations Framework on Climate Change adopted? Is it A, 1990? Is it B, 1992? Is it C, 1996? Or is it D, 1999? B, 1992. That is right. Yes, it is correct. 1992 is your answer for that particular question. We move across to Kristen, who is an honor society, folks. And she's also a prefect. Well done. Congratulations. Let's keep it rolling. What is not an effect of too much exposure to UV radiation? Is it A, cataracts? B, weakened immune system? C, sit skin cancer? Or D, increased heart disease? D, increased heart disease? That is correct. Yes, it is. Increased heart disease. We jump across to player number three, Sophia. Sophia is struggling right about for folks to reach the microphone, but that's all right. Her, I'm sure her academic excellence is way beyond her height. Let's see how it goes. Which greenhouse gas has the second most devastating effect on global warming? Is it A, methane? Is it B, nitrous oxide? Is it C, water vapor? Or D, hydrofluorocarbons? C, water vapor. That answer is incorrect, unfortunately. Kristen, you have a chance to steal five points for your particular team. A, methane. That answer is correct. Methane is the answer. Five points added to your tally. And we move across to Eli. And Eli is a very strapping individual. Push-ups, Eli? Yes. How many? Not much. <laughs> 45, and he said not much. My yeah. goodness. Brother, that's 40 more than I can do. What country plans does Article 6 of the Paris Agreement address? Is it A, water conservation? Is it B, Climate action, is it C, pollution reduction, or is it D, recycling? B, climate action. The push-ups seem to be working. That answer is absolutely right. Yes, it is. Eli, well done to you. Move across to Rihanna. Rihanna is a very confident looking young lady. Let's see how it goes, Rihanna. Approximately how many liters of water is required to produce one kilogram of rice? Is it A, 2,600? Is it B, 2,700? Is it C, 3,600? Or is it D, 3,700? B, 2700. That answer is correct. Well done to you, Rihanna, and to Ashtabills of Charlieville, producing some fine folks and also some fine individuals indeed. Let's see. How many layers make up the Earth's atmosphere, Joshua? Is it A, 1? Is it B, 4? Is it C, 6? Or is it D, 8? C, 6. That answer is correct. 6 is the answer. Well done. Cheyenne, we move across to you, and you're a house captain. Is it difficult planning a sports day? Yeah. Yeah, tell me about it. It's difficult to get the children to come out sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, hopefully they can come out to support you if you reach the finals. <laughs> Let's see. All right. What are some steps that Trinidad and Tobago could take towards pursuing a low-carbon development path? Is it A, use renewable energy sources? Is it B, Give incentives for improving energy efficiency. Is it C, giving incentives for use of electric vehicles? Or D, all of the above? D, all of the above. That answer is correct. Well done to you and to your team as well. And again, this is a very special round because we move across to the group, group questions. Both teams are going to have a chance to answer. If they get that answer correct, it's going to be 20 points added to their particular team. Let's see what the group question has to offer. Why has ozone depletion severely affected the Antarctic Pole? Um, because the, um, at the poles, that is where the CFCs gather the most, so it depletes the ozone there the most. Judges, your response? That answer is absolutely right. 20, 20 points added to your score. And of course, Astrogills, your question is up next. Have no fear. You've also got your chance. Your question is as follows. What is the greenhouse gas effect? Um, the greenhouse gas effect is where um, yeah, there is an increase in the amount of um, heat being trapped in the um, atmosphere. And um, it will... Uh, the, it traps the UV rays that would normally escape into the atmosphere, like the walls of a greenhouse gas. Let's see what the judges have to say about that. No team discussion required, and indeed, 20 points added to your tally. Well done to Astrogirls of Charlieville. Well done to Bishops and also Trinity 
and let's see what the judges have to say about it. But to tell us a bit more about their school, Solange, tell me a bit about your school. How was the experience at your particular school? Well, it's good. Yeah? <laughs> do, do you participate in any sporting activities? No. How about sports day? Our fine friend across yes. there is a house captain. Yeah, you, sports you love sports day. Sports day is very lively and a lot of excitement. Goes yeah, is it very competitive as well? Kind of. It's more fun. Yeah, because the gentlemen across there, they're going to be some competitors, yeah? Let's see how it goes. The judges have adjudicated, and we just await and see how things have to go. But before we move on to the results, I just want to tell you that you can make the difference in reducing pollution across the world. And yes, simply by just recycling your plastics, recycling your paper, and most importantly, saving water. Don't use water to do anything out of the ordinary. Use exactly what is necessary if you are to use that thing called H2O. Let's see what the judges have adjudicated. Bishops, Anesty and Trinity poised at 115. And boy, oh boy, it's a close one. Ashtagilch College, Charlieville, 105. We are back with the final round of competition in this quarter-final round number two. Alyssa, your question in this final round. The term radiative forcing refers to the ability of a greenhouse gas, is it A, to absorb heat, B, to release heat, C, to create heat, or D, to transfer heat? A, to absorb heat. That answer is correct. Yes, it is. Well done to you. Move across to Vishala and your first question in this third round. When and where was the United Nations Conference of the Parties 24 held? Is it December 2018 in Paris? Is it January 2019 in Paris? Is it C, December 2018 in Katowice, Poland? Is it D, January 2019 in Copenhagen, Denmark? C, December 2018 in Katowice, Poland. That answer is correct. Well done to you and your team as well. Adding much necessary points, we move along to Solange. Let's see if you can perform evenly better. What are some of the features of the Litter Act of Trinidad and Tobago? Is it A, forbids the disposal of waste in public areas? Is it B, defines various offenses in relation to littering? Is it C, provides for the appointment of a litter prevention wardens? Or is it D, all of the above? D, all of the above. Are you sure about that? That answer is absolutely correct. Smiles all around, indeed, for all of their supporters as well. We move along to your question, Natalia. What air system is referred to as the atmosphere? Is it A, that surrounding Trinidad and Tobago? B, that surrounding the solar system? C, that surrounding the sun? Or D, that surrounding the planet? Um. Unfortunately, your time is up, and uh, we're going to ask Solange to please give me an answer if you can. D, that's around in the planet. That answer is also correct. Yes, it is. Well done to you, Solange, adding five points to your tally. Christian, you're up next. In what year did Trinidad and Tobago ratify its commitment to the United Nations Framework on Climate Change? Is it A, 1984? Is it B, 1994? Is it C, 2001? Or D, 2012? B, 1994. That answer is correct. Yes, it is. 1994 is the answer. Move across to Sophia. Sophia, your question goes like this. What does the term mitigation mean in relation to climate change? Is it A, measures taken to adapt to the effects of climate change? Is it B, military action? C, naturally occurring measures to reduce climate change? Or D, measures taken to prevent further climate change events? D, measures taken to prevent further climate change events? That answer is absolutely right. Well done to you, Sophia, and to Asheville's Charlieville. We move across to uh, Eli. Eli, your question is a true or false? Trinidad and Tobago, solid waste management company, aims to manage all forms of waste in Trinidad. Is it true? Is it false? False. That answer is correct. False is the answer. Yes, well done. Well done to you. Rihanna, you're up next. Rihanna, your question. Give the names of two different types of plastics polyethylene and medium density polyethylene is it b polyethylene and polystyrene is it c polyethylene and foam or d 
polyethylene and polyester? B, polyethylene and polystyrene. That answer is absolutely correct. B is the answer. Yes, it is. Well done to Rihanna. Joshua, it's a very tall man. This is a very tall question, brother. Based on the carbon em emissions reduction goals set in the Paris Agreement, what is the expected goal temperature rise? Global temperature rise, I beg your pardon. Is it A, 2.1 degrees Celsius? Is it B, 2.3 degrees Celsius? Is it C, 2.5 degrees Celsius? Or is it D, 2.7 degrees Celsius? D, 2.7 degrees Celsius. That answer is absolutely right. It is 2.7 degrees Celsius. Well done, well done. We move across to Cheyenne, who is the final individual responder. Which of these natural energy sources pollutes the planet the most? Is it A, sun, B, coal, C, wind, or D, natural gas? B, coal. That answer is absolutely right. It is coal. Well done to you, Cheyenne. And of course, just like the previous round, this is the group stage segment. We head across to the screen and your question comes up first. Why does methane have a slower global warming impact over a longer time frame than carbon dioxide? You've got 15 seconds to formulate your response and the clock is ticking away. The reason why methane has a slower global warming impact over a longer period of time is because carbon, di carbon dioxide takes a longer carbon dioxide takes a longer time to um, break down. Judges, your answer, it is absolutely right. 20 points added to your tally. It is. Well done. Well done indeed. We move across to your question, Ask the Girls of Charlieville. It's popping up on your screen right about now. Why is the melting of the Arctic ice described as self-reinforcing? 15 seconds. Make it snappy. melting of the Arctic ice is just kind of self-reinforcing because you have the process of global warming repeating um, and there's an increase in the carbon dioxide levels being continuously added so that's why you have when ice melts you're going to reflect heat and then um, the oceans are going to absorb as much as uh, heat and when the water expands you're going to have um, the ice um, melting and then full-fledged explanation indeed let's see what the judges have to say about that is it it's incorrect unfortunately it is incorrect and the correct answer is on your screen right about now and you can probably take a second or two to take a read on that answer but at the end of competition round number three it was a stiff one ashton guilds versus trinity college sixth form and bishop's anesty let's see what the judges have to say after the big round of tally reminding you of the acronym seize it it's a wonderful initiative taken by a great group of individuals seize it the acronym the carbon zero initiative of trinidad and tobago let's see what the judges have to say after their tally and at the end of round number three we just have to wait and see how things unfold but just to give us a briefing as to the uh, history of their school. I'm going to jump to Natalia. Tell us a bit of uh, the experience at Ashton Girls Charlieville. Is it an enjoyable one? Yeah. It is? Yeah. And lovely. And how about your teachers? Do they perform well in the classroom? Yeah, they do. I think so as well because you all have done quite well. And what about you and Vishala? Do you enjoy the, your experience at Ashton Girls in Charlieville? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> what, what makes Ashton Girls Charlieville different from the other schools? Um, we have caring teachers that take time and consideration to come and help us do learn our material for our quiz today, so we just want to thank them. Absolutely brilliant. Well done. Excellent answer. And at the end of it all, it all comes down to this moment. The judges have tallied the scores. They have made their decision. We look at the points table, and Bishop's Anesty and Trinity poised at 190. Astra Girls College, Charlieville, 145. Congratulations to the school on my right. Well done, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Commiserations to Ashton Girls of Charlieville and of course to give you a bit of uh, congratulatory rewards and also some remarks as well. The founder of CZIT, Mr. Donald Baldew Singh, will be joining me on set to give you some words of encouragement as well. Thank you very much, our host, Mr. Ram Subhad. It was a tight competition. After the second rounds, it could have gone anywhere. Today, the winner is Bishops and State Trinity College East. Congratulations to you. 
Today, you did not come out ahead. However, you are completely engaged with CZIT, and we are looking forward to continuing to work with you on your special project and all the projects to reduce our carbon footprint. Thank you very much for taking part. We have Mr. Prem Nanlal, our head of our advisory board, and Ms. Rian Ralak, head of projects, to assist in handing out some tokens. And your alternate. Congratulations to the team. Thank you very much, sir, and to you and your team as well. Well done on this particular project, this particular quiz. And that brings us to the end of today's show. Thank you for watching on behalf of the entire production team. Congratulations to Trinity College East 6 form and Bishop's Anesty. We look forward to seeing you next. My name is Sachin Ramsubag. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. It is very close for you.